Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel right now. I want to read you this. The Fed projects that it will hike its key fund rates three times in quarter point increments in 2022. It sees the Fed fund rate now pegged at 0 to 0.25%, climbing to 2.1% by the end of 2024. Here's why this is like a sword of Damocles hanging above our entire economy. By the way, the people who put that sword up there are the wonderful, morally superior, absolutely brilliant Democrats and experts in media who pushed to end economic activity in tw last year, two years ago now. That opened up a Pandora's box, but I want to just explain something. Do you really think that they're going to wait until 2024 to get to 2.1% for the Fed funds rate? Do you think that they're going to wait until 2024? It was 1.55% in 2019. But we didn't have a broken supply chain, r rampant runaway inflation. According to Peter Schiff, it's actually 15% if the CPI was calculated in the manner that it was in 1982. So they say inflation is at 6 or 7%. Do you think inflation is at 6 or 7%? In the comments section, tell me below. When I go to the supermarket, when you go to the supermarket, I've seen the difference. Okay? You've seen the difference also. Things are more expensive. When things are more expensive and inflation is rampant and runaway, eventually... When $10 trillion in fiscal and monetary stimulus end, eventually people are going to say, I'm not going to pay for this corporation's goods and services. Then corporate profits will decline. But corporate profits will also decline if they have to spend more borrowing to obtain loans. So the interest rates are going to, when interest rates go up, it's going to affect everybody, corporations businesses, small businesses, big corporations, individuals, the housing market, which is already tanking, especially in China with Evergrande default, with the Evergrande default, and other companies like Evergrande in China. We have Zillow stopped, um, uh, you know, a big part of its business. And so you look, we have all of these signs pointing to a devastating stock market crash. We have a trillion dollars in margin debt. We have derivatives that aren't even being regulated. I, I write about this in The Federalist. Read The Federalist article below. Hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman, my main channel of 190,000 subs. We're on our way to 200,000 subscribers there. Hit subscribe. Tell your friends about the stock market crash channel. But... If, if the Federal Reserve doesn't raise interest rates, inflation will skyrocket past 15%, according to Peter Schiff, but a lot more than 6 to 7% that, that they'll admit to now. But if they do raise interest rates, that will tank the market, hurt bond, the bond market, because prices, the bond prices will go you know, we'll, we'll, we'll nosedive and tank, and that'll hurt stocks. We are now running, we, we, we now have record highs in the S&P, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. But the, the economy is on shaky ground. The global supply chain breakdown, by some estimates, won't be addressed or fixed until a year from now, we're going to have a year, and we're not even getting, I'm not even touching upon the paranoid, apoplectic, hysterical reaction by governments around the world to you-know-what, okay, it's Groundhog's Day all over again, so you have the fear of you-know-what, which will never end until people, until experts, whatever, I'm not even going to touch upon that, but that paranoia and that fear is like a narcotic for most of the world, and for or the world's governments, unfortunately. Okay, yes, it's serious, obviously. You have to address it, yes, but not by, by shutting down and ending economic activity. Okay, that is going to speed us towards a financial cliff globally. Okay, 
but you have these par- paranoid, hysterical, apoplectic reactions or uh, governments reacting in a counterproductive manner, always, like Groundhog's Day, every sing- and so the specter of shutting down economies will exacerbate, will speed up stock market cra- the stock market crash in the U.S. and elsewhere around the world. You have interest rates that'll go up, interest rates going up, the Fed funds rate from 0 to 0.25 to 2.1% by 2024, but they're probably going to have to raise interest rates faster because inflation is, is runaway. So what do they do? What do they do? Do they allow inflation to continue in the manner, in the, in the rapid rise that we're seeing? Or do they put the brakes on the economy through, through uh, the interest rate hike? And, and we're not even talking yet about the quantitative easing ending and Fed tapering. So you have Fed tapering and an interest rate hike and a trillion dollars in margin debt, and a, bro- a broken global supply chain, and we haven't even talked about key lab- labor shortages in key industries. All of this, labor shortages in, in key industries, that's a huge, that's, that's what's, what's, what's in part causing the, global, uh, the, the, the broken supply chain. But when you have this kind of whack-a-mole strategy pertaining to all these issues, well, you know, uh, we have to shut down economic activity and that will uh, keep us safe. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, that caused inflation and so um, so eventually we're going to raise interest rates. Oh, okay, well, you know what? Interest rates are at all-time lows now. Okay, so we have a trillion dollars now in margin debt. Well, we'll raise the interest rates eventually. Uh, all of this is an absolute catastrophe when you look at it from a macroeconomic perspective. When you look at it from a bird's eye view, okay, uh, you could say, well, you know, the economy is growing. The economy is only growing because you've allowed people to work the past year. Wow, congratulations. Oh, well, we're rebounding. Okay, maybe in, in, in some, in aggregate numbers we're rebounding, but what happens when there's a market crash? And there will be a market crash because we have a trillion dollars in margin debt. And interest rates will increase. They're going to the, the interest they're going to hike interest rates up because of inflation and they're going to end the quantitative easing which is the free money that they've pumped into the economy through the, the purchase of of debt and, and bonds, the government debt and bonds. And so so then what do you, wh- what's going to happen now? We have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, that is an absolute catastrophe. And it's a catastrophe because of our reaction to you-know-what. You-know-what did not cause this. Our reaction to you-know-what, our apoplectic, hysterical reaction, they're always moving the goalposts, too. Oh, well, you know, if we do this, everything will be fine. Oh, if we do this, everything will be fine. They're still, they're still paranoid about it. Market tanks just from fears of, of, of government shutting down economic activity. But you play this game where you want to shut down economic activity, low inter- lower interest rates to promote economic activity, uh, pump money through quantitative easing and, fed- and, and the Federal Reserve and central banks into the economy, and then allow the economy to, to, to function. And then, you know what? Oh, my God, there's another fear. So, you know, maybe you're, sh- you're stopping economic activity here and there. It's like you're playing this balancing act between apoplectic fears and the economy and the stock market and investors that don't really, they just want free money. These corporations and and hedge funds and banks, they love free money from the government and they love low interest rates and they love speculating and they love um, making money off the trades and giving money in in terms of margin debt to companies like Archegos that went under because of a $30 billion margin call. So give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Interest rate hike is going to be a huge, huge issue. If they don't raise interest rates enough, <clears throat> inflation will skyrocket and corporate profits will decline because people will say, I don't want to, I don't want to spend uh, as much for these goods or services. 
when corporate profits declined because interest rates weren't um, raised enough to prevent inflation from going wild, um, you're still, you're still going to have an economic a stock market crash because of other factors, okay? Let's say, let's say you do raise interest rates, then all that free, uh, then then all the loans that uh, corporations, big corporations, have to the, the the money they have to pay back affects their profits, their cash flow. Then you'll see corporate profits decrease. Also, either way, you're going to see corporate profits either miss expectations or decrease somewhat, depending on the company or sector next year. 2022, we'll see a stock market crash. For, a, for many other reasons. I mean, look what's taking place in China right now with Evergrande and their real estate, real estate market and their, their supply chain issues. So all of these problems are not getting better. They're not transitory. They're getting worse. They're getting worse. And we'll see a market crash because the moral hazard that was fostered by... $10 trillion pumped into the economy to replicate an actual functioning economy, you've opened up a Pandora's box. You can't get out of that. And if you give me your thoughts below, subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Run.